and welcome to the Disability and Jesus Sunday service for this Easter 4 service, the fourth Sunday in the Easter season. Through this time we'll have words of liturgy, prayers, Bible reading, reflection and a final word of blessing. We do hope that you feel that this is church together, although we are alone. Some opening words of liturgy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be with us, Spirit of God. Nothing can separate us from your love. Breathe on us, breath of God. Fill us with your saving power. Speak in us, wisdom of God. Bring strength, healing and peace. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. A time of confession to ponder those things said and done and thought which have not brought joy to God's heart. Formal words followed by words of forgiveness and absolution. When you hear the phrase, in your mercy forgive us, you may like to respond, Lord hear us and help us. Jesus Christ, risen Master and triumphant Lord, we come to you in sorrow for our sins and confess to you our weakness and unbelief. We have lived by our own strength and not by the power of your resurrection. In your mercy forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived by the light of our own eyes as faithless and not believing. In your mercy forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. We have lived for this world alone and doubted our home in heaven. In your mercy forgive us. Lord, hear us and help us. Now hear these words of absolution and forgiveness. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins. Heal us and strengthen us by his Holy Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Risen Christ, faithful shepherd of your father's sheep, teach us to hear your voice and to follow your command, that all your people may be gathered into one flock to the glory of God the Father. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter a sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name, and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. For our reflection today on John 10, I've come into the garden because partly it's not raining, so I thought the outdoor space might be quite nice. Partly it's something about sunshine and fresh air. 
But partly, a lot of Jesus' teaching and conversations were done outside, in the great outdoors, by markets and harbour sides, outside people's homes, just in the street where crowds would come and flock and press in with questions. So, outdoors seems like a good place to think and reflect on that John 10 reading. I wonder what you notice in that John 10 reading. The thing that struck me this time round was the idea of being called by my own name and recognising the one who calls me. When I was at secondary school, my head teacher, Mr Eachus, would insist on calling us by our proper names, not by our given names. So on one occasion, I remember him, actually a number of occasions, I remember him bellowing down a corridor, Catherine! And I completely ignored him because my name's Katie. Now, actually, it's confusing because my official name is Catherine, with a C, please note. But from early doors, I've been known as Katie. Legally, I'm Catherine. On hospital reports, on driving licences, anything to do official, I am Catherine. But since day one, I've been known as Katie. So when he bellows down a corridor the word Catherine, I don't respond, because that's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> I recognise his voice, but it's somebody else's name he's calling. That had got me in trouble on a couple of occasions. If he called down the corridor, Katie, I'd have stopped and turned round, recognising his voice and knowing my own name was being called. Jesus says to the disciples and to the Pharisees and the teachers of the law and anybody who's gathered in the crowd on this street corner at this point, Jesus says... The one you can trust is like the shepherd who calls to his sheep by name. And when the sheep hear their name being called by the voice they recognise and they trust, they turn and they pay attention. Jesus is basically saying that humanity is his flock and he is the good shepherd and he knows every single one of our names and his voice is trustworthy. Think of Mary Magdalene in the garden on that first Easter morning where she is full of grief and confusion and bewilderness and loneliness and she hears her name being called by a voice she trusts and she turns. I wonder in the midst of the confusion and bewilderment and loneliness that you may be feeling, and I know I am in this lockdown and isolation time, I wonder if there's a moment of stillness in the day where we can be quiet as we're able to, be as still as our bodies allow us to be, and just to pay attention as the Good Shepherd, Jesus himself, calls us by name and we know we can trust his voice. May you hear God call you by name. May you know that you're not alone. May the Good Shepherd lead you by still waters and green pastures and places of rest and refreshing and fulfilment. Amen. We pray that Christ may be seen in the life of the Church, saying, Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy, hear us. Lord Jesus, you have called us into the family of those who are the children of God. May our love for our brothers and sisters in Christ be strengthened by your grace. Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy hear us. You have called us to be a temple wherein the Holy Spirit can dwell. Give us clean hands and pure hearts that our lives might reflect your holiness to all around us. Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy hear us. You have called us to be light to the world, that those in darkness might come to you. May our lives shine as a witness to the saving grace that you have given for all. Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us to be members of your body, 
that when one suffers, all suffer together. Especially at this time of the coronavirus pandemic, we ask for your comfort and healing power to bring hope to all in distress. Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us to be the bride, where you, Lord Jesus, are the bridegroom. Prepare us for that great wedding feast, when we, with all the faithful departed, will be united with you forever in the joy of resurrection. Jesus, Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. The words of the Lord's Prayer, spoken English and with some BSL support. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And a blessing. May the peace of God that passes all understanding fill your hearts and minds with the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you this day and forever. Amen.